This is Bob Burkhart, the Digital Jaywalker, Dragonfly County, Kansas. Wednesday morning, the 14th of April, 2010. We're at the uh, Baker Wetlands uh, farmhouse, home of John Boyd, son of Dr. Roger Boyd, uh, with Baker University. Uh, we met at the KU Advocacy Corps Saturday morning kickoff. Roger mentioned that they might be doing a uh, prairie burn uh, sometime Wednesday morning, weather permitting. I'm trying to track down that uh, event so we can get uh, some digital documentation. You can see that the uh, killdeers are uh, trying to take me away from their nest. I think we see it running down the uh, path here towards the silo observation post and the uh, uh, picnic shelter. I think we also have a uh, garden over here to the right for uh, starting uh, native plants. And you can see the partially finished boardwalk uh, foundation that we installed last fall before the weather turned south or sour. Uh, spring rains have pretty well filled up the uh, man-made wetlands to mitigate for the uh, space tentatively reserved for the South Lawrence traffic way, although there's still some debate about functional equivalence of uh, established versus newly created wetlands that uh, this location will provide an interesting opportunity to do some comparison and contrast. Expect that we might see some eagles or other wa waterfowl that have been uh, using this uh, reservoir or retention pond as a uh, resting spot also see some bluebird houses over here on the poles. You can see that with the uh, funding from the Kansas Department of Transportation that they've got uh, some pretty heavy duty equipment arrayed around here in order to uh, maintain uh, this property as well as the uh, Baker Wetlands uh, further to the east towards Blue Mound. Posters on display at the uh, picnic shelter kiosk are very similar to those in the existing wetlands, but with the current update, uh, this ties into the uh, vision that we had for Calm Valley Heritage Adventuring, uh, which was started in 1997-98 as Calm Valley Heritage Alliance uh, for a Hornaday Award Boy Scout Eco Challenge Center. Uh, similar to the one that was initiated at Camp Nash in uh, 2004 with their six million dollar capital improvement campaign. Both uh, Roger and John Boyd are uh, Eagle Scouts and are very active with the uh, Northeast Kansas Heart of America Council uh, scouting programs. With this being the uh, centennial of the uh, Boy Scouts of America, I think this is a uh, good opportunity to uh, demonstrate that the uh, National Conservation Movement actually began in this part of Kansas uh, around the time of Teddy Roosevelt's 1910 visit uh, to this area in August to uh, dedicate the John Brown Memorial, part of the Civil War legacy, and also uh, meet with Lewis Lindsay Dyke, who was the first commissioner of the uh, Kansas Wildlife and Parks with his uh, innovative fishery in Pratt, Kansas. Teddy Roosevelt, at the invitation of his uh, public affairs or public relations advisor, William Allen White, also uh, met with uh, the Midwest movers and shakers to launch the Progressive Republican Party in 1910. I think it was also known as the Bull Moose Party. So what we see here is 
an example of uh, the freedom of influence to take a uh, environment impacted by man and return it back to something that more closely resembles the uh, wetlands natural history of this area. Now we're going to take a meandering walk along the uh, boardwalk. Having been involved in uh, helping uh, finish at least the uh, decking of this uh, project, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be stable. Got plenty of room here. This is going to be very accessible for individuals with uh, mobility challenges, including wheelchairs. I believe this facility is uh, designed to be ADA compliant, but we'll see how that uh, sorts out. We've got kind of a large circular walk here similar to the one in the uh, wetlands where we uh, support the Walkers of Wetland Learners visits for uh, uh, sixth grade and occasionally second grade uh, classes uh, from the uh, public and private schools uh, here in Douglas County, Kansas. We're walking south, I believe. Nope, take that back. Walking east. South is to the left. I take that back. I must be walking west. South is to the left with the Wakarusa River below Clinton Dam. have to make sure I use my uh, landmarks for uh, land navigation purposes so I don't get disoriented. I'm not currently using my GPS as a crutch, so I've got to rely on the uh, God-given wetware between my ears. More kill deer. I can see some red-winged blackbirds protecting their turf on the uh, growth from last year's plants. I see some birds a flight up here. My uh, birding skills are ornithology ornith skills aren't that great, so uh, we may have to bring some people from the Jayhawk Audubon Society out here as uh, as uh, interpreters and guides. If I were in Minnesota, I'd think I'd be looking for loons right now, but the uh, water in Minnesota is probably still frozen, although I'm sure the uh, ice houses have been removed by now. See an interesting, what looks like it might be a duck blind or shelter over to the right on the little point of land. You can see a cell tower, signs of man-made impact, another house adjacent to the uh, main property and then looking back to the north. I see the uh, tractors and the uh, farmhouse, the uh, silo observation post, an interpretive center, and uh, off to this direction I see the extension of Louisiana Avenue running between this wetland and the older wetlands closer to Haskell University as we pan south towards the uh, tower uh, near Blue Mound. We're also looking in the direction of the uh, plant ferry crossing for the Oregon-California Trail that came up from Gardner, Kansas.